a smoother operator. 2017 Acura MDX Sport Hybrid First Drive. There's a lot to unpack when trying to understand the 2017 Acura MDX Sport Hybrid. Acura is billing it as a three-row crossover infused with NSX technology via a sport-oriented hybrid drivetrain. So it's a hybrid crossover, sure. But it doesn't comport itself like a traditional crossover, nor is it a conventional hybrid. What it is, underneath, is an intentionally subtle blend of impressive technologies doing their best to appear transparent, and it's too subtle, I fear to be appreciated by those who'd like it the most. This is a lot of foreshadowing, but if you're not familiar with the MDX Sport Hybrid's powertrain, let's fill you in. The MDX Sport Hybrid uses the same basic system as the 2014 RLX Sport Hybrid, with some newer NSX battery tech sprinkled in, packaged neatly into the refreshed third-generation MDX platform. The system improves handling and efficiency, but more important, it smooths out the harshness of shifts and engine stop starts. We do need to examine the system in some detail to understand how all this affects the MDX as a whole, so let's go toe to tail. Up front is a transversely mounted 3.0 liter V6 making 257 horsepower and 218 pound feet of torque as well as featuring IVTEC and cylinder deactivation. It's slightly smaller than the 3.5-liter V6 found in the conventional MDX and many other Honda and Acura products. Attached alongside is a Honda-produced 7-speed dual-clutch transmission that has a 47-horsepower, 109-pounds to foot electric motor generator stuffed inside. Amidships are the battery pack and the electronics to control it and stretching aft from there are large cables feeding power to a pair of electric motors that reside in single housing, one for each wheel. Together, they produce electron witchcraft and torque delivery wizardry, and add 72 horsepower and 108 pounds to foot of torque to the mix. The total system output is 321 horsepower and 289 pounds to foot of torque a gain of 31 horsepower and 22 pounds to foot over the conventional MDX SHAWD. Beyond the raw numbers, there's the remarkable subjective benefit of the Sport Hybrid's drivetrain. Engine start-stop events are quiet and smooth, nearly imperceptible when underway, in stark contrast to the too perceptible shudder of competing engines kicking on. The electric motors, mainly the one residing in the transmission, add in power to make up for the lull during a shift, making shifts up or down seamless, as well as providing regenerative capacity. And from a dead stop the MDX will use the rear motors to move off, which overcomes a major limitation in most DCTs, low speed lurchiness. While there's some fuel economy benefit, the city rating jumps 45% to 26 miles per gallon in EPA testing, the 1.3 kilowatt hours pack isn't big enough to provide an EV only mode, so it's best to think of it as an elaborate assist system for the gas motor that adds more power and smooths out some rough spots. Sure, it provides some green benefits on the side, but that's not the modus operandi of this equipment. When I use the terms smooth and near seamless, I'm not exaggerating. To be fair, it performs just as well in the RLX Sport Hybrid, and has for a few years now, so it's a shame that vehicle is so criminally overlooked. This is just the first time the hardware's found its way into the MDX, and, as Acura hopes, more garages than the RLX. Yeah.